Hello everyone and welcome back to my franchise mode. Today on Friday we are here in La Casa de la Tierra and we are in part two of the wonderful dome. So first things um, that changed, you can see there is a big huge pillar in the middle and you were right. I mean obviously these beams in the middle would have dragged this whole thing down but I always planned to have a little, uh, well it's not a little but like a pillar in the middle and so it makes sense again. But obviously uh, these people mentioning this were absolutely right in saying that this is obviously like, you know, j just realistically um, without a pillar in the middle that would have been uh, totally random and not really realistic. Um, but yeah, I, I will now, um, you know, guide you through with me together in today's episode and we're going to do the uh, habitat. So. I decided, since not really that many people commented either way, um, I will do it myself now. I will do this myself, I will decide what we will do and um, I will fit in. This one is the, the huge habitat over here. We're going to use um, to uh, mainly bring in, as I said, the ostriches, the, the wildebeest and uh, maybe some other animals too. Um, but we will see about that. And then this one here will be the African wild dog that goes in here. And as I said, potentially the hyena, but I think the hyena need a lot more space. So I will see how much requirement uh, this habitat overall will give us. And then we'll see how this works. But first of all, um, let's kind of use all these rocks first of all to, um, you know, just create something nice looking. And uh, since I'm a bit lazy, I will just copy that one over here. Uh, just create a building out of that and then we're just going to use this one as a little blueprint and we're going to use this over here to create some initial uh, kind of border. I want to have this little gap in the back here uh, because I feel like this can be um, another little backstage area. Not backstage but where the animals have some more privacy which is going there and then I'm also like pointing that in here like so. Um, let me just kind of bring this in a little bit more like this. Uh, I know it's kind of the backside we have and I don't want to have these things uh, too much in here. So I'm going to delete these and just move that a little bit into this corner. But just overall, just having this a bit more uh, varied and not always the same. Uh, we're just going to use some of the pieces here the way they are and just uh, kind of creating a bit of, a, you know, a general rock phase. It's not as good as it can be and it's definitely not as good as the sandbox mode uh, rock work I can do. But again, I always told you guys this is all um, for the franchise and therefore I, I am willing to kind of sacrifice some of the style for uh, a bit more progress and a bit more stuff because honestly though I gotta admit as well that um, it's kind of cool to have a project where we are moving a little bit forward. Also another, another thing I wanted to mention quickly is this is the first franchise mode episode with the new microphone and I really would love to hear your opinion on the sound quality. Um, that would be really great to hear um, because you know for me personally I think it is a quite a significant uh, difference um, from what I can hear in the different programs I use to cut the episodes. It's a lot more clear, it's a lot more crisp, there's like, like less um, weird uh, kind of noises in the background, there's a lot more um, uh, clarity all, all over the place and it's just way more stable, like it, it's not really so sensitive when it comes to where my head position is and stuff like that, so quite a few, um, you know, not really subtle, but actually some, some real differences you can take out of this, but anyways, you guys need to tell me. And also, um, I don't know if you guys are already following me on Instagram, but in case uh, you do, you have seen this recently that I'm posting quite a bit more like teaser videos also on Instagram. So in case you want to see that, I, I do recommend to go over there um, because recently I figured um, Instagram TV is kind of cool also to bring in some teasers and to bring some partly the episodes that kind of works really nice. So thank you for all these people who follow me over there as well. Just uh, mentioning this real quick while we, you know, do this very repetitive rock work over here. But I don't know, It's I, I still believe that rock work is kind of cool because uh, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's um, relaxing. Again, I, 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 there is nothing else, but I, I need to compare this all of the time uh, with the soil and uh, dirt slapping in Minecraft. That's exactly uh, this kind of feel I have in here. By the way, I just love the sound, that it sounds a little bit like um, echoing in here, because this is the more or less empty dome. And the more you have in here, it sounds not as, as echoing, which I think is a really cool little feature uh, that we have in Planet Zoo, like how they, they managed the sound design to be that accurate and, and nice. I don't know how they did this, but it's it's really cool. Okay, so this is this is mainly done. This is the rock work for this side. 
And I guess it's fair to say that we just do the same on the other side here. Um, that tree is kind of a little bit in the pla in the way and annoying, but I think it's uh, not too big of a deal to just get that away later on. Um, but yeah, so we just uh, put this down here and another one, like a larger one here and there. And yeah, I think I like this down here as well, just like so. And just drop this down and then we have it like this. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you guys also need to tell me, um, since I think Planet Zoo just lately became a bit more quiet, so what do you guys wish to see next in Planet Zoo? I know we talked a lot about this, different animals and stuff, but I really want to know what you guys would love to have uh, despite animals. So what, what else would you love to see in the game? What else would be interesting for you? And what are you missing the most when it is not about specific animals? Because I do know that most of the people are like, yeah, I want a birds, I want like aquatic animals, but let's just talk about different stuff. There's so much more about a zoo game um, than only animals. I mean, the main, you know, the, the, sh the star of the show uh, is always, you know, will always be the animals. That's that's for sure. But but still, there is so much more that is uh, interesting. So what 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 were you guys? Um, what do you love to see in the game? What are you missing again? And uh, there are, you know, I made this video in case you haven't seen. I had my top five list of features I would love to see in the game at some point, even though I I don't really think we would see them simply because they are so specific and so management focused while the game you know kind of tends a little bit towards more sandboxy which is the planet series core and dna um and therefore kind of nice but um yeah just you know just in general i'm very curious to hear your opinion on that and and what you guys um in general would just love to see as a uh, introduction to this um already pretty damn well game but uh yeah just let me know i I'm here, you know, I'm listening. I, I would love to jump into the comment section and uh, just get into touch with you guys what you would love to see. That would be awesome to know. And also, um, let's talk a bit more about this franchise. What do you, what do you want to see next uh, after the Desert Dome? Because I'm running out of, uh, out of animals, <laughs> so to say. I mean, we've got, yeah, we have plenty of animals left, so there's, there's a lot to do. But still, um, yeah, I would just love to hear your opinion. Uh, on that. Um, also, let's just build a little waterfall first before we do. Uh, just gonna unpause the game quickly. Construction, and there's a waterfall. Uh, oops, there you go. Bottom, yes. We just built the bottom thing first. There you go. We've got some animal issues there. Not really sure what exactly that is, but we'll have a look to this one. Um, waterfall midsection. I think the midsection is what we need. Um, so there you go. This is the midsection. Gonna pull this down here. So you're gonna have the. Oh wait, it's the other way around. No, this is this is way better. They did also change that, and I'm I'm really happy that they did change this. Um, the Bengal tiger is fighting. I'm gonna have to. I hear. Okay, we're gonna pause this quickly, and we're gonna get rid of all these issues because there's some kind of stuff going on. Um, so we have the Bengal tiger fighting. Uh, because okay. So, are you the younger one? 4.1 years old. Wait, but the other one needs to be 3 years old, right? 9.9.3. 9 oh, you're, you're the younger one. Okay. Well, you go back to the wild then. See you later. Right, that's, that's done. And why are you guys still like... Why are you still so mad? Like, space. Ah, uh, it is the climbing again. It is the climb. Okay, I'll be back with you guys. I just need to quickly restart the game. Um, so the climbing is, you know, sometimes the game has this bug that they just don't have climbing for whatever reason. I mean, obviously they, they have it, but they just the game just doesn't see it. I'll be back with you in a second. All right, there we go. And the animals are happy again because as you can clearly see, the climbing is back in place. And so they are happy again and we can go back to our dome and do some more work about this one. Um, what's the waterfall again? There you go. It's tumbling down here. Yeah, so it, it just doesn't look that great, but I'm I'm willing to do something different this time, uh, just to make sure that we um, you know we also alter our designs a little bit. So we are going to click on metal this time, and we do not have any blueprint available, and then we are going to use some. Uh, no, not that one. I, I do have a specific piece in mind. Where is that one? There you go. This is the 
there's a little bit like a bigger one yeah that's the bigger one so we're just going to bring in like a metal plate on top of here uh just to make sure that this is it's kind of nicely reflective though but um that should not be too big of an issue and we're just going to yeah yeah we do have some lag going on here uh there you go and then we just kind of create something below here that looks almost like where the water uh, is coming out of and um yeah there you go and just pull that one below here so you you gotta have this uh, more or less like water feature coming down out of this piece um it's it's a tad bit more realistic you know and i don't want to i don't want to waste too much time now in in trying to come up with the right thing even though the game is just pretty laggy down here because you're so close to the um to the side of the dome which is again because of all the pieces um even though i'm, I'm quite confused why it still does it because the normally the main issue is down to the fact that you are using uh, too many pieces at once um it doesn't matter if it sticks out it doesn't really look that clean though you know what well, we just rotate this piece and it should be fine um because normally the the lag comes also from the fact that you have too many pieces in one building and that's not the case so this is one of the things i find a little bit confusing uh but yeah so look at that i think this is fine this gives a little bit of a different vibe to it this time so we have all the stones this is where all it goes so one thing i wanted to do i wanted to build some mirror like uh, not, not mirrors but like uh, some some walls in between with some glass and i'm not like sure if i want to if i want to go with like uh the grid ones even though the grid ones offer i think there's no is there like okay this is the opaque one uh, okay that doesn't matter it doesn't help and this one is also i i think i go with that one though because the the advantage of this one is that um already has some style elements in and it looks a bit more stable so i wanted to put these things in here like this just lower this down so it yeah doesn't matter which side we use i think we use the flat side to the outside there you go yeah that's nice this is exactly what i wanted to do so give give these windows um the the chance to be here i don't want to have people falling over you know um that's the main the main reason why i have it this way and then we can just copy this over there you go and we're also going to use some normal fences uh, in between uh, the areas later on as well um so that they just don't jump over and i have another one in here so just having some window frames uh to make sure that this is a bit more secure we do also Pull them in here, just have some taller ones, both sides, there you go, like this, and then the other side, like that as well, just giving this little bit of a nice vibe to it. Um, I just want to also rotate this piece so that, yeah, there you go, so that both of the pieces are hidden, and then, um, yeah, I think it's quite nice to this side of this thing. Um, oh, as I forgot, I forgot this, this bit over here, let's just quickly do this, just going to utilize the bigger pieces here um we were still in the group right yeah so let's just focus on uh, come on these two and we're just copying them over like this and we're just trying to make sure that this looks somewhat nice like so and i just want to make sure that this is somewhat taller you know that this is my you know this this actually is seen as the uh, a bigger wall where the people cannot watch over and then behind this there can be a sleeping area for the animals just so to give them as i already mentioned uh, some more privacy uh square meters so to say and i'm also like willing to just put these rocks in here to cover up these ground pieces. i think in general you can do this quite nicely in, in a dome like this just cover up these ugly edges from the pathway it doesn't matter too much you can you can just have that um, and you don't need to be so super tidy because that's how it would actually look anyways in a real one uh, the only pity is that people would actually go through here quite uh, uh, quite heavily so that is uh, the reason why I don't want to put them too close to the inner part of it because they will stand quite close to the to the um, corners to just look over the fences and have a good view of the animals but yeah this is uh, Part of the game part of what it is and you have to deal with that but i think it's yeah <clears throat> we are getting there this is quite nice i'm not gonna do the inner side here but that is fine so far what we need is another fence piece and this is what we will pull in now a fence and i'm not sure which one i'm going to go do we go with that one 
on this one. It's actually a desert dome and African desert dome. I'm not sure if I want to go with this one. I think I want to go with that one though. Yeah, we're just going with this one. Wait, I need to make sure it always stays the same height. There you go. Just making sure that this uh, somewhat works nicely together here. And everywhere where it pokes out, we're just going to use this one so that uh, in theory, people cannot jump into the habitats. I think this looks already fairly great for a franchise zoo. Mm. <clears throat> Is this high enough? Yeah. There you go. My, <clears throat> my voice also breaking a little bit away today. I don't know what it is. It's not allergy. I'm really hoping that I'm not getting a cold because it's very much worrying. I already had that yesterday evening uh, when I was recording some stuff. I, I did pause the recording quite often because my voice was tumbling a little bit. This is also the reason why some of my words are pronounced a bit weird today. Um, yeah, because I'm just trying to uh, soften the voice a little bit. I don't know what it is. I'm really like, not sure. Not too sure, guys. I have a cold, cold uh, sip of coffee I can get. You know, I can make cold coffee. Mm. <clears throat> because I forgot to drink this. Actually, it helps a little bit. I get my. I need to get my uh, my lovely Thai Thai tea again. No, actually, I have um, uh, a, a ginger tea, which is really good when it comes to your voice. It really helps. Uh, but obviously, since it was so warm. Um, I, I wasn't like super much wanting to have, uh, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I, I didn't want to have like a tea. It's, it's so warm outside. Why would I love to drink a tea? I, I, I don't. So yeah, let's put some cacti in, um, here in these kind of little areas where we can. I think that's kind of cool. Like it, it would actually be in these, um, desert domes. I love that quite a bit, to be honest. Like, whenever I am in a desert dome, I love these things all over. It just gives this vibe. It, it kind of shows that it's very hot in there. And, um, yeah, just in general, I think it works. Is it floating? Yeah. I saw it floating. There you go. Um, is there any other space where you can put some on? These things are fairly large, though. Um, I can just, yeah, that's a smaller one. We can put them. I think they, they do stand quite nicely on these rocks. And I think it's quite okay to put it it's like not super realistic but i think you would see something like that in these domes so yeah let's just plop them down oh there's another area we do not have a fence let's just pull that one here there you go one and two okay cool i think this looks already a lot better than it did before look at that this is just really cool little stuff um okay we've just a few more minutes left in today's episode i really want to bring in some of the animals already um, so that area is not yet connected to the actual park area, which I will need to do now. Let's just connect the path. This just leads back here. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of path we have because I will definitely um, put my zookeeper here anyways. Um, but yeah, just to have it, um, that's kind of cool. And I do already have some of the animals in the animal trading here. Just gonna deactivate the filter. There you go. Wait, this is not my storage. What the hell? Can we just... What is going on? Okay, there you go. This is my one. So you see, I've got the spotted hyena already, but this is not going in, in the first habitat. So what is going in here are these two ostriches, as you can see. So ostrich number one goes in. And then uh, let's have the second one. Ostrich, yeah, it's already done. Ostrich number two comes here as well so we have the two ostriches I you know I, I wanted don't want to do too many animals at once because they will hopefully get some babies in here and therefore I um, I'm not putting too many animals at once the space is not like super great you know it's not like incredibly great um, we can have that one too I'm also not sure if we put the bongos in I think the bongos go well together as well right let me just check in the zoopedia so we're going to go for bongo and I am the derpy animals. They are living also in Africa. Do they have an interspecies enrichment? They don't really have. So what about the ostriches? They, I do that. They, I do know that they have African buffalo works. Black wildebeest. That's okay. That's cool that this works. We can also have a common warthog in here. Why not? Why not, guys? Okay, let's first of all see, did, did we put all the animals in? I, I cannot remember what we had. I think we can still put the mongoose in. Like they are also from Africa, so why would they have an issue with that, you know? I think they, they are not fighting each other, so we can just put them all together. 
And then we have like a very nice hobby. Um, okay, we, we're just doing this with these six animals first. Um, let me also already get a keeper and a caretaker, like two caretakers. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can also put like, uh, because they have to go quite a long way. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We just wait for it. Okay, so let's just let them fall down. Awesome. You just fall down. And then uh, we create a new work zone. This is Africa. I uh, know. Savannah. Savannah zone one. Awesome. This is done. Okay, cool. Um, I think I want to do this. Or shall we put the... You know what? We just... The problem with the hyenas is that they don't get too big of a group. So I think the African wild dog would make a lot more sense, to be honest. Um, and I am, you know what I do? I will put the entrance to this habitat now exactly here. Before we, okay, I'm pulling like all the animals in at once now, um, because I think that's the better idea. So this is going to be the entrance of this habitat. And um, before we do so, let me just quickly pull the terrain back in position because it kind of is not happening here. So we'll just do it that way. Just kind of smooth the terrain out a little bit here. Oops, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just do the same here. There you go. Yeah, that should be fine. And now we are just getting the barrier in. The gate goes here. Wait, there you go, this is the right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's fine. I'm just gonna pull that one here and just pull it into exactly this edge. Just bring that up, uh, come on, bring it a little bit higher. Nope, oh, the lag. The lag is just, like, it's it's not the performance in general, it's like these lags, they are really the, the main issue. I'm I'm not too sure what that exactly is. Look at that, I'm just like waiting an, an hour until it's it's finally decided to, to work again. So I'm just gonna pull another one here. Just bring that there, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull that up, oh my lord, okay. This is insane. The legs are insane, but it, it, should, it shouldn't be too worrying. So what we do now is, oh, no, no, go back. Yeah, there you go. What the hell? There you go, finally it works. And now we're just gonna bring that over here, connect this. Yep, this is connected. And now we do the same, but we just, can you just stay that? Yeah, just bring this all over here to the outside. We can, the, the cool bit about this, because we do have the dome itself, we can just go all the way around. It doesn't matter, we don't have to be too precise. We can just use use the wall. It's not too big of a, be, big of a deal. I mean, yes, surely they will complain about the ground, but we can just still do the ground however we want. Boom, done, habitat is done, which is cool. And um, maybe we have to change it, but in this, this case, in this particular case, I'm just going to connect this first here. So we're just going to um, pull this thing over. Like, it's five meter. We don't need five meter. We can just go with like four meter. It doesn't matter. I, I might just do a bridge later or whatever, but just like for now, uh, for the sake of it, we just bring that together and create the same. I think it's fairly okay. This distance over here can still be the same. You know, I'm just, okay, you know what we do. We just employ another keeper that goes in here and then unpause the game quickly. Awesome. So that dude is then getting a new work zone, which is that one and that one. And this is Savannah 2. So we exactly know what happens. And now let's get the African wild dog from the market. I think we don't have any, do we? I think we don't have any. We do have the hyena. No, 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 that's it. Okay, so we need the African wild dog. African wild dog, come on, just a few more minutes in today's episode, but that should be fine. They, um, yeah, it's thousands, a thousand is quite a little bit. I'm gonna adopt that one. Oh, you know what, a thousand is fine. Um, and another female one, there's another female one. How was that again with the, was it the, the female? that is leading the pack. Oh, I think about the female, right? The African wild dog. Uh, uh. So we have two to two, okay, up to 27 males, up to nine females, male bachelor group two to 20. Um, okay, so we can have some, okay, but well, let's just get two of each. They need some more in the group. So uh, let's get for some cheaper ones. That's fine, that's fine. They will hopefully be better later on. Okay, 0% is not good. So that should be fine. Okay, four of them is fine. 
I think they should all be in here now. Yeah, at least I, I did something correct here. There you go, one. And uh, we will have to adjust this uh, habitat a little bit still in the next episode. Or maybe I do this off screen, we have to see. I don't want to bother you another full episode with the dome, even though I like the dome. I like it quite a lot. So don't, don't get me wrong about this one, but yeah. So here we go, this is done, all fine and tight and neat. Now we have to say unpause the game and while we are waiting for that, there's not like really a bridge in here. I, I'm not sure if the staff members could pass that way. So we're just going to put the food and stuff on that side. Um, and also we can then already adjust the terrain a little bit here. Because I, I know that the wild dogs don't like it either way so much. We don't need any shelter, that should also be fine. So we go for the wild dog, wait, wild, is it two words? Wild dog, yeah, okay. So what we will get is the blood scent enrichment, just put that here and there. Doesn't matter if it's too much to the side. Gonna have a chew toy, chew toy goes there and another one goes here. And um, what else do we have? We have the prey scent uh, tool, which goes here. You, you know, we will do all this stuff in the next episode. I just want to make sure that we have done this, we, we did this, and I mean, just look at how cool this looks. The dome is, is really already uh, quite nice. I mean, just a view over here, it's really nice. It's a decent view. It's a very, very decent view. So where's the sun coming from? Uh, uh, uh. Me stupid. Is the sun this side? Yeah, so it's it's this side and then yeah, if you look, I mean just look at that. It looks cool. I think it looks really, really cool. I cannot wait to see how it is with all the animals in, but they, did they already deliver some of the animals or where do they? Why are you stuck? There should be no issue being stuck here. Okay, there's no animal being delivered right now. I'm not even sure if they can go in here. I might need to make a little ramp, but okay. So I, I guess some of the, okay, look at that. There are all the animals being delivered. <laughs> I should have put a trade center somewhere. Why are you confused? Idling, okay, nothing to do. There should be a mechanic coming over here soon. Look at all the animals being delivered. <laughs> I like that somehow, it's, yeah, it's rather cool. Yeah, I mean, just like the sheer looks of it is kind of cool, though. I, 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 I think I really like this. It's getting evening lighting here, but I think once they deliver all the animals, oh god, it's yeah. That the bongo is first. Who's El? Oh my lord, look at <laughs> this is this is insane. I have no idea what happens now if there's anyone who can jump out of the exhibit, but we will see. Look at that, the white ostrich coming here, running in. And yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool with the, with the grass patch there. It looks really cool. Can they escape? No. I, I have no idea, but I, th I think they should not be able to escape. Look at, look at, look at that. This is the, this is kind of cool. This looks really, that looks really cool. Can you, you, can you ostrich just come over here into the sunlight? There you go. Just pause the game here. Look at that. I love it. I love that, guys. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, let's just quickly check and then we end this episode if oops, the traversable area is nice and stuff like that. So traversable area is good. There's nothing in particular that is wrong about this. Yeah, we will have to check this a tad bit. That's fine. What about you? You are all fine as well. Terrain is not perfectly fine for them, but that's okay. And uh, same goes for you. So okay, we have to adjust some of the things here to make it better for them. Uh, it's still too much sand, too less short grass. I think that goes together for all of them. But this is some easy stuff I can I can always adjust. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, I really do hope you um, you are also still curious to see what's going on in the future. Um, I think this might be a little issue because there's no RAM. Anyhow, guys, again, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy, you know, let me know by commenting, liking the video, just do a little bit of interaction, that would be awesome. And also, if you are new to the channel, you like the content, you've just, you know, you just skipped in here and uh, for whatever reason, stick with me, um, yeah, just consider subscribing, that would be awesome. And I am always looking forward to grow this channel and having more fun with you guys together, more and more stuff and so on. And be excited 
Today there will be another video and to tomorrow there will be also the new series starting about Planet Zoo, like a new little project. So be excited, there's quite a lot coming, but now enjoy your Friday so far and I talk to you in the next one.